Hi right, guys. It is another absolutely spectacularly gorgeous sunset over the end times as I guess the third cap trail. We have these little scissors cap trails and now we're getting a third one being sprayed across the sunset. The cap trail Sunset says the uh, I guess you would call this the folk art of global industrial civilization being smeared across the sky. So sitting here watching the global industrial civilization pour its shit all over the sky while I sit here and enjoy this delicious margarita with this weird little fruit in it that I cannot remember the name of making this absolutely delicious margarita here for the end times and it is a glorious Thursday evening December 16th 2021 oh, here comes another cap trail you can see that second one up there we are getting quite the uh and here comes one coming the other way oh one two three four five six seven eight yes 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 it is a good thing i don't believe in chemtrails or i would be uh sending this video to dane wigington i guess did I just say it was Thursday, December 16th, 2021? And I can't remember how long it's been since I've done an official depressed collapsitarian wine, you know, that I used to try to do every Thursday. Because uh, pretty much more and more of this channel has uh, just become an unending depressed collapsitarian wine as I try to figure out what to do with the wreckage of Humpty Dumpty tribe. So anyway, here I sit watching this spectacularly gorgeous sunset on this beautiful 80 degree December day surrounded everywhere I look by all of this beauty I have not heard one airboat all day today the entire day not one boat has come past um, never got in my gas sucking truck I have not laid eyes on one living human being I'm not even sure I have heard a an actual human voice all day today I'm sitting here alone in the point lonesome swamp with my little dog I'm getting that squirrely like that get that squirrely you get that squirrely like that and, uh, you know I have already done what I came here to do I have already well not quite I have set everything in motion I have already got this place in a contract which looks like it will hold together uh, so let's see it is beautiful scenery <clears throat> it is beautiful weather uh, I'm not dealing with a single clueless fucking moron. Uh, I have accomplished the goal. It, in one month, I have accomplished what I thought it would probably take me at least three months to do. It turned out, as my Bliss Ninny friends like to say, better than ever than I ever could have imagined, assuming it all holds together. Um, I'm in 
pretty good physical health for an old fart. Uh, financial worries. Uh, I, I have time and soon I will have the best combination in the world, which is time and money. So essentially, I have nothing to complain about, nothing to be depressed about by a lot of people's measure. I have a pretty charmed life and probably at least about half the planet would trade places with me right now here in the oasis of freedom drinking this delicious margarita watching this beautiful sunset under the cap trails waiting for the sand hill cranes to come flying in and yet here I sit bouncing off the fucking walls just thinking about the utter the utter pointless futility to my life feeling just completely trapped within my own skin uh, just forged completely shitless it is the most exciting time to be a human on planet earth in the last 300,000 years, this is the most exciting time to be a human in the history of humanity. A five minute drive from here is an absolutely beautiful kayaking stream going up to this beautiful spring. I have been here for one month, with my kayak sitting right here I have never put my kayak in the water. Now, I did go kayaking one time for about an hour, you know, with someone who had two kayaks. But, uh, you know, I dragged this kayak all the way to New York six months. I never put my kayak in the water one time. I have been here for a month, have never put my kayak in the water, uh, just n knowing how absolutely beautiful uh, th this kayaking stream is five minutes from here and how people come from thousands of miles to go kayaking around here. I have no energy to put this kayak in the back of my truck and go kayaking. So I've been here, what is it, 32 days, two of those days, I have taken this beautiful hike. And you see, you probably can't see the cranes flying in over the sunset. Uh, I'm just sitting here thinking about the absolute pointless futility of my existence, uh, my empty life, uh, the fact that, that I have nothing to do, nothing to do for the next four months. Well, I won't say that. What I have to do in the next four months is tear down my outdoor kitchen and uh, my shed and move it to New York, baby. So I have four months to do that, which means I'll start doing that in a little over three months. So I would say for at least the next three months, I have nothing to do, nobody to meet, uh, no deadlines, uh, I, I have no boss bitching at me. No pesky co-workers, no um, girlfriend or wife uh, bitching at me, uh, telling me what I need to do that day. Uh, 
It is <clears throat> peace, quiet, tranquility, beauty everywhere I look. And I am completely bored, shitless. I am sick of my existence. I am a, uh, I'm not e even a hamster in a wheel. I'm, I'm off the hamster wheel. Not exactly even a goldfish in a bowl going back and forth, 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 or a hamster in a wheel going around and 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 around. I have complete freedom to get in my gas sucking truck. Uh, I could go to the beach, all of these beautiful places to go canoeing and kayaking and hiking. Uh, I have the internet, I have the knowledge of the world at my fingertips. And here I sit, watching this beautiful sunset, drinking this delicious margarita, wondering what the fuck I'm going to do with my life between now and the time I go to bed tonight, what the fuck is on Netflix tonight. And uh, so I have minimally three months to sit here alone in the Point Lonesome Swamp and just think about how completely fucking pointless this entire uh, charade called life is. I am getting out there and enjoying everything I can squeeze out of this gorgeous planet where I live. And so now, of course, I've sold this place. And uh, just trying, just trying for whatever reason, since I'm bored shitless here, uh, to do everything I can just to hang on to being here until April and already wondering what in the fuck am I going to do with my life next year when I because I sold this place and I am a snowbird and have no fucking clue uh, what I am going to be doing with my life next year. Maybe Auroville, India will be in my future. I have no fucking idea uh, what my life uh, will, will hold next year or any other year. It's just uh, it, it's getting up every fucking morning with the same routine. Dragging out of bed, drinking a cup of coffee, hopefully watching a beautiful sunrise if the goddamn fog hasn't blocked it out. And somehow filling up a day, then watching a beautiful sunset, drinking a margarita then filling up in the evening in the Point Lonesome Swamp and then trying to sleep for half my my goal is to sleep for half of my worthless existence but but this is it
So, uh, that's my life. Watching these big ass dragonflies zipping around in December. Can't see these giant dragonflies. But I see the uh, the chemtrails are starting to turn pink. I highly suggest you get out there and enjoy all of the beautiful sunsets and delicious ice-cold margaritas in your own puny little insignificant worthless pointless existence while well, you still can Bye, guys.